How many times, in an Argentine tango class, or during a performance, did you hear about the posture? Is there really a rule about how to dance tango? In this video, I'm going to tell you who, to a large extent, was responsible for us dancing like we do today. I'm going to tell you who Petrolia was and what he really did for tango. So is there a real rule about how to dance tango? I mean, how the man and the woman should place their arms, how the tango embrace should be or how the tango couple has to physically accommodate themselves to dance. And in another order, do you have to dance all the time in an embrace? Who determined how you had to stand and to embrace for dancing tango? The questions never end. Why will it be? Petrolio was born in the Almagro neighborhood and was largely responsible for our dancing as we do today. It is very likely that you have heard of him, or you come to hear of him during your own tango story. In fact, he left us a lot of documentation from the mid 1940s and beyond. There is much to say about this master dancer from Milangaro, and we already know that you can't cover everything. But if you would like to contribute a piece of information that seems important to you, and that I do not mention in this culture space, mention it to me here in the comments. You can also give me the name of your favorite dancer or your favorite dancer. Maybe tomorrow I'll make a video about all of them. And, if you want to continue supporting me, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, so you encourage me to share more information. Well, now yes, my name is Gustavo Benzakri Sabah, and let's start now. Summarizing the life of a man, of any man, is an almost impossible task. But let's start by saying that the man we are talking about today, was named Carlos Alberto Estevez, presumably the son of Spanish immigrants. The nickname Petrolio, oil, would come over the years. In his own words, in an interview made by the journalist Sergio Criscolo, and for the magazine La Mega in May 1992, the teacher said, They gave me Petrolio because I drank a lot of wine. I was a drunkard. I've been drinking soda for some time, but it's worse. It rusts. It was true. He liked red wine, cheap wine, which was so dark that it was compared to the color of black gold. But let's go beyond this. Petrolio was born on September 29, 1911, in the Almagro neighborhood, but grew up in Villa Devoto, a beautiful neighborhood of low houses, with diagonals and boulevards, then a unique design in Buenos Aires. But when he was 17 years old, in 1928, an encounter occurred that would change his life. He met Negro Navarro. Who was? El Negro Navarro was a dancer who went to Paris in 1910 and who perfected it in the art of dance. By then, many dancers were trying their luck in Paris and other European cities. Let us remember that was a time of splendor for the people of Buenos Aires, so much so that in France the phrase was coined. Rich, as in Argentine. Let us also bear in mind that saying, black in Argentine culture does not refer specifically to a skin color or an African origin, but, for example, to the color of the eyes or the color of the hair. Just as they called Carlos Gardel El Morocco de la Basto and the word Morocco did not refer to his skin color. Well, the truth is that, as we said, Negro Navarro perfected Carlitos Estevez in tango dancing. But in 1930, another event was to occur that would change his life much more. In a malanga he would meet Esperanza Diaz, a young dancer with whom he would form a partner in dance and in life. It seems that everything was already in place for Petrolio to show off what he learned with Navarro. So, after many practices with his girlfriend, he made his debut at the Rosa de Abril Club in the Devoto neighborhood. Needless to say, how much the boy enjoyed the taste of the applause, did he? Be that as it may, that was the first of many performances. Although he never recognized himself as a professional. In fact, he would say in an interview, I never went on tour, because I had my job at the bank, but I did about 2,000 performances. Yes, he worked in the bank, drank, danced, and other passions began to awaken in him. Apart from tango, I was crazy about horse racing. I went every day. I won a lot and lost a lot. Petrolio danced with Esperanza Diaz until 1949 and then made other performances with other dancers. 
At the Provincia Bank, where he worked, he wrote, once a month, an article about tango dancing in the bank magazine. In one of his works, he said that until 1930, the breasts supported each other and space was left between the legs and feet to make arabesques and ornaments. But after the 1930s, he established a concept of ballroom dancing that several dancers still respect. A resounding change in posture to dance as a couple. Straight bodies. Faces facing the same side. Shoulders horizontal to the floor. The breasts touching lightly and the leader's arm at shoulder level. Little by little, Petrolio became a great teacher accompanied by his followers. I mean, his admirers, who noticed the sharpness of his comments. We are talking about meetings in bars, such as in the Café Febo, in Jonti and Segurola, in the Monte Castro neighborhood, and those neighborhood clubs, such as the Nelson Social and Sports Club, that boys used to frequent to invent and develop his own tango steps. In these practices, Petrolio created and developed the Malintes, in Rosques, Arastas, Contrafrentes, and Bolios, among many other movements, and determined the changes of postures that we talked about before. Let's take this opportunity to see him dance with Alejandra, who according to the teacher and dancer Raul Bravo, worked as a maid in the house of Anibal Troilo. Petrolio left several written texts, which can be found on the internet, and is like having a record of the history of dance and history of the dancers, even attributed to himself, having separated sex from dance. The truth is that he awakened another consciousness about the body and movement. Once, Petrolio said, My dream was always to dance better than everyone. And I saw many figures, I transformed the tango, but I should have done more. I lacked inspiration to create true tango. Today, I would do it differently. As each tango lasts three minutes, I would divide it into a prologue, development, and epilogue. In 1993, due to his career, for his incredible contribution to tango dance, the historic organizer Oscar Hector Malagrino, better known as Oscar Hector, decided to honor him on his birthday. And with the presence of several friends, September 29th was determined as the Day of the Milongaro. Cumplió años el pasado 29 de septiembre. Entonces, eh, por José, pues, el, el, el día que puse mi longuero, por inquietud y por admiración que tiene Petróleo, además merecida, indiscutida, cuando lo vean en tangos, que bailan bien, enseñan y hacen exhibición y coreografía, ¿habla bien un colega? No dudemos en absoluto de que dice la verdad. Y yo ni averiguo, porque todavía a uno le falta mucho que aprender en lo que respecta al baile, aunque parezca mentira. Siempre aprendemos algo de guardar, se siente y por ese motivo gusta tanto. Así que agradecemos a José que has elegido vos la fecha del Día del Milonguero por el nacimiento de Petróleo. El aplauso también para José. Quiero concluir que fue el uno de los mejores maestros que hubo en el tango y que realmente hoy se está bailando el tango que él creó. 
En el año 40 es, era el único que hacía giro, voleo, traspié, arrastre. Es lo que están bailando hoy. No hay otra cosa. La verdad que es esa. Entonces por eso considero que se merece el día del milonguero, el día que nació Carlos Esteves Petrón. Toda la primera de septiembre va a ser en Buenos Aires el día del milonguero. Petrolio always remained in contact with tango. Even though he could neither continue dancing nor continue teaching, he surrounded himself with favorite students and friends. He asked them to continue loving tango, just as I ask you to subscribe to this channel, give me the like, and leave me in the comments the name of your favorite dancer or your favorite dancer and the contribution you can make about this topic. Petrolio used to say, tango was born to be danced, that is its destiny because it is nothing other than a message that is expressed by dancing. And that message of love that is expressed with our feet is the path that we follow until today. See you shortly in this tango space. While step by step the culture passes, 